Here's problem 15-9. Two circus clowns, each having a mass of 50 kilograms, swing on two flying trapezes, negligible mass, length of 25 meters, shown in the figure. At the peak of the swing, one grabs the other and the two swing back to one platform. The time for the forward and return motion is... Well, if we were looking at just one clown on this on the string, swinging on the string of 25 meters, we would uh, calculate the angular frequency and we'd say angular frequency for this such a pendulum is square root of g over l. It only depends on the length of the cord and not the uh, mass of the clown itself, independent of the mass. And we would go on to say that the period of oscillation there and back again is 2 pi over omega so that would be equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G. And again, the period only depends on the length of the pendulum, not on the mass on the end. All right, so if we just had one clown on our trapeze, the period would be equal to 2 pi times the square root of L, which is 25 over G, 9.8. And that is equal to what? 25 over 10.0 seconds. So that is the period of the pendulum going there and back again for one person on the trapeze. However, if there were two people on that trapeze, it still wouldn't change. That would simply change the mass. But we see that this formula for the period is independent of the mass. So it would still have the same time to go there and back again. And one full period is indeed for the trapeze there and back again as we repeat ourselves. So let me write that down. So for one full there and back again, one full period, we have 10 seconds whether we have one person on the trapeze or two on the trapeze, 10 seconds.